Well, some uplifting news in the sports world today. The National Women's Soccer League, also known as the NWSL, became the first American team sport to return to play after just about everything was suspended across the country when it comes to sports due to COVID-19, Will. Yeah, JT, former Centennial star Sofia Huerta plays in the NWSL. She plays on the OL Reign based out of Tacoma. Now, her team will begin play on Tuesday. Now, recently, JT had the chance to catch up with Sofia to get her thoughts on the return to play action. Sofia Huerta. How much support do you still feel from your hometown here in Boise? I feel so much support from my hometown, obviously, as I speak to you. I was really shocked when I was home during this off season because I feel like I'm a little older, so didn't really know that the younger generation would know me, but they do and they are so supportive and they show love and Boise will always have such a special place in my heart. There's not too many girls out of Boise, Idaho that have, that have accomplished what you have what, what would you tell them and i mean how have you been able to climb to the heights that you've been able to climb to something that i've learned throughout my years is you know the ball is not always going to go where you want it to go um you might not always have the perfect touch but i think something that everyone always notices is your hard work so you might not be the best you might not be the fastest but work your hardest and if you believe in yourself you'll get to the top you know it's kind of crazy i look back and You've been a professional soccer player for quite a few years now. How much do you feel like your feet are under you now and you can really make that, you know, that next step? I've been a professional for six years now. Crazy. The more games you play, the more situations you're in, obviously. And I really feel prepared for this season. You know, the, the National Women's Soccer League was one of the first professional leagues really across the world to develop a plan of attack and get back to action. How excited are you to be playing soccer again? I am personally very excited. Um, you know, I do think it's it can be seen as risky to outsiders, but I really trust the NWSL and they put protocols in place to ensure our safety. And we all have had the decision to decide if we wanted to play in the tournament or not. And I obviously decided that I wanted to partake and I'm really excited to get things going. When you look at your, you know, career list of goals, not uh, goals scored, but just, you know, things that you want to achieve, where are you right now? How much do you have left to achieve? And when you look at what you've done, are, are you satisfied so far? Well, no, I'm not satisfied. I think as athletes, we're always kind of looking at what's next. You know, I had my time with the national team back in 2017 through the 2018 year, um, but I don't feel like I did everything that I could to maintain a starting spot or a consistent spot on the team. So that's my ultimate goal is to be on the women's national team, participate in the Olympics, World Cup. That's obviously my goal. So I'm not satisfied yet. As for a schedule for Sophia and her teammates, they will begin play Tuesday night, 8 o'clock Mountain Time start for that match. Then their second game down in Utah will be next Saturday, July 4th, also an 8 o'clock start for that match. JT, I know you're from Tacoma, so yeah. you got to be rooting for Sophia's team as well down there. That 2-5 free pride, without a doubt there, Will. But, um, you know, Sophia, what a delight and what an opportunity for her and the NWSL. All their games are going to be broadcast. So um, great exposure for the league. And it's awesome that they were able to get back to action and uh, – it's going to be fun. Boise definitely has a team and a player that they can root for this summer, Will.